her friendships were as legendary as her stories. Totally. T Swift is such squad goals. No, I'm talking Frances Marion, one of the most influential screenwriters from 1915 to the late 1930s. Welcome to Ballin' with No Balls. Wait, who's Frances Marion? She wrote over 300 scripts and is renowned for her film adaptations. Wow, how'd she get her start? At 22, she became a reporter at the San Francisco Examiner. It was there that she was blessed with an interview with Marie Dressler, an incredibly famous actress at the time. Frances would go on to write a career-saving role for Dressler over a decade later. Returning the favor, I love it. And sticking with that theme, Frances learned the business of filmmaking from Lois Weber while working as her assistant. And we already learned that Frances paid for Lois's funeral after the director fell on hard times. Exactly. Lois taught Frances how to craft a story for the screen. Then, Frances put those skills to work and became the first woman nominated for a screenwriting Oscar. She would go on to get a total of three nominations, two Academy Award wins, and is one of only six writers in the history of the Academy Awards to receive multiple nominations. Casual. Fun fact, it's reported that she used her Oscar statues as doorstoppers. But before all the accolades, in 1915, Frances started working with Mary Pickford, America's sweetheart at the time and a major silent film producer. Frances would go on to become Mary's exclusive screenwriter and would eventually write Mary's first talky feature. I'm picturing Tina Fey and Amy Poehler 1920s edition. Totally. Frances and Mary bonded over the fact that they both got married young and were kind of unhappy in their marriages. Common theme at this time. Uh, yeah. Frances was married four times, twice before she was 26. Her best quote, IMO is that she spent her whole life searching for a man who she could look up to without lying down. Thanks for joining us on Ballin' with No Balls. We'll see you next time.